Health Resources and Services Administration, Wikipedia Audio The Health Resources and Services Administration is an agency of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services located in Rockville, Maryland. It is the primary federal agency for improving access to health care services for people who are uninsured, isolated or medically vulnerable. Comprising six bureaus and 13 offices, HRSA provides leadership and financial support to health care providers in every state and U.S. territory. HRSA grantees provide health care to uninsured people, people living with HIV-AIDS, and pregnant women, mothers, and children. They train health professionals and improve systems of care in rural communities. HRSA oversees organ, bone marrow, and cord blood donation. It supports programs that prepare against bioterrorism, compensate individuals harmed by vaccination, and maintains databases that protect against health care malpractice and health care waste, fraud, and abuse. Goals since 1943 the agencies that were HRSA precursors have worked to improve the health of needy people. HRSA was created in 1982, when the Health Resources Administration and the Health Services Administration were merged. In May 2017, George Sigaunizas was appointed Administrator of HRSA, replacing Acting Administrator, Jim McRae who returned to his position as administrator of HRSA's Bureau of Primary Health Care. Goal I, improve access to quality care and services. Goal II, strengthen the health workforce. Goal III, build healthy communities. Goal IV, improve health equity. Goal V, strengthen HRSA program management and operations. The administration has four primary goals. HRSA funds almost 1,400 health center grantees that operate more than 10,400 clinics and mobile medical vans. Health centers deliver primary and preventive care to over 16 million low-income patients in every state, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico the U.S. Virgin Islands and U.S. possessions in the Pacific. The agency's Ryan White HIV-AIDS program provides primary care, support services, and antiretroviral drugs for about 530,000 low-income people. The program also funds training, technical assistance, and demonstration projects designed to slow the spread of the epidemic in high-risk populations. These services avert more costly inpatient care and improve the quality of life for those living with the virus. HRSA administers a broad range of programs for pregnant women, mothers, infants, children, adolescents, and their families and children with special health care requirements. The largest of the programs, the Maternal and Child Health Services Block Grant to States, supports local efforts to reduce infant mortality and childhood illness and control costs associated with poor pre- and neonatal care. The block grant includes state formula block grants, special projects of regional and national significance, and community integrated service systems projects. Other vital missions include universal newborn hearing screening, traumatic brain injury, Healthy Start, Sickle Cell Service Demonstrations, Family-to-Family -family Health Information Centers, Emergency Medical Services for Children, and Autism. Among the most successful public health initiatives in U.S. history, HRSA's maternal and infant health programs annually serve more than 34 million people. To make health care more accessible for the 60 million residents of rural America, 
HRSA funds programs that integrate and streamline existing rural health care institutions and aid in the recruitment and retention of physicians in rural hospitals and clinics. HRSA's telehealth program uses information technology to link isolated rural practitioners to medical institutions over great distances. Many of these activities are designed and operated out of the agency's Office of Rural Health Policy. The agency strives to ensure a health care workforce that is diverse, well-trained, and adequately distributed throughout the nation. In exchange for financial assistance through National Health Service Corps scholarships and student loan repayment programs, more than 28,000 clinicians have served in some of the most economically deprived and geographically isolated communities in America over the past 35 years. Key Facts Many regions of the country and various health disciplines face serious workforce shortages. HRSA safeguards the foundations of the U.S. health care system by targeting grants to academic institutions to support postgraduate faculty retention, administering scholarships to increase staff in critical specialties, such as nursing, and funding leadership development programs. These programs leverage the educations of about 10,000 clinicians annually. HRSA oversees the nation's organ and tissue donation and transplantation systems, and a drug discount program for certain safety net health care providers. The agency also supports the nation's poison control centers and vaccine injury compensation programs, which distribute awards to individuals and families thought to have been injured by certain vaccines. Primary Health Care HIV slash AIDS Maternal and Child Health Bureau Rural Health Clinician Recruitment and Service Health Professions Healthcare Systems <laughs>